Okay, back to our bench power supply from our TV power supply board. First things first, let's go over safety again. This board can hurt you even when it's unplugged. So you don't need to be sticking your fingers around in it. And also the back side, if you grab that, you're going to complete a circuit and you'll become the load. And that's not any good either. There is a lot of things on this board that will hurt you. These capacitors hold the charge even after you've unplugged it. you got transformers on it that will bite you. Right here you have a bridge rectifier that will bite you. A, the best thing if uh, you're incompetent, intoxicated, or you just like to snack on some paint chips, you probably don't need to be messing with this. Uh, one more thing I need to go over on this. is Right here you have two plugs. These plugs, uh, they go to the lights that illuminate the back of your TV. These are low current, but they're very high voltage. I think on this board, there are about a thousand volts a piece. Um, so if you get to messing with those, they'll bite you. I, I doubt it will kill you, but you're going to get a little snap to you. Um, best not uh, just even mess with them. All right. Um, and also, uh, there's a big change of plans on how I'm going to design this. Um, I originally was going to use uh, LM317 voltage regulator. But then I got to thinking about it that um, it's just not very efficient. It's going to create a lot of heat and I'm going to have to put a fan in it and figure out cooling. I actually built and designed this heat sink for it, but it, I'm not going to use it. Um, so what I my original plan was is I was going to get a buck boost converter and run it off the 12 volt side because that we get the maximum amperage out of it. But uh, sent off, uh, well I actually purchased one through eBay and the the guy sent me a message back and uh, he was out of stock so he sent me um, a buck converter and a bunch of the little mini 360 buck converter so we're going to use this uh, buck converter and I'm going to show you how I'm going to design it and that way we can uh, um, control the voltage to it okay this is the case that I drew up that I fabricated myself for it um, got a piece of rubber in here that the board's going to sit down on so it doesn't short out onto the case. And then I fabricated this lid right here. And then on the front side, I'm going to put a panel on it, an instrument panel with all my, um, my jacks go into that. And we'll screw it all in with just probably some machine screws. So now's the time when you're asking, why should I do this? Well, there's tons of broken TVs laying around. Um, it, it's actually relatively safe. The output, output of this is a low voltage, low current. Almost everything has been figured out for you. You have, have the rectifier built in. You got transformers. You don't have to do all this stuff. Um, it's a high frequency PWM. It, it's uh, pretty efficient. It's not going to build up a lot of heat. And uh, it's also got a short circuit protection. So if you overcurrent it, it's going to shut itself off. Um, that'll stop you from burning your house down. And in the case you do burn your house down, you know, um, your insurance company is not going to have, I mean, they're not going to accept because I saw a redneck do it on YouTube as an excuse. So, you know, do this at your own risk. One of the first things we're going to do is figure out a way to ground this to our case. Here's where our mains go in, and this is the ground plug. So we're going to flip it over, and we're going to trace it to right here. That's going to be our ground. And these are jumper wires, and this is a big ground plane here. So we can either solder our ground wire into here, or I'm probably going to solder it in right here. And this wire, we're going to ground off to our case in case something happens. And you touch your case, you don't complete the circuit. All the all the current will actually flow through the ground wire and back out the plug to your house. Okay, now I got my ground wire soldered in. Now I'm going to figure out my switch. Uh, remember on these power supplies, you always have 3.5 standby voltage when it's plugged in. So your uh, 3.5 volt wires are always going to be hot as long as it's plugged in. 
and then you have your power on which is going to be this blue wire here and as soon as you touch it to the um, 3.5 volt you're going to cut the power supply on I got those LEDs uh, wired into the 12 volt side so now I have my toggle switch um, I went ahead and uh, probed continuity so I figured out which pins that I needed to use uh, one thing about toggle switches is more of a safety feature um, it is actually important which way which direction you have your switch um, you want to have it where the switch is pointing down and that would power off and then to power it up you want to be able to switch it up and that's for more of safety if something happens you can just flip it down real quick so always remember that about toggle switches okay this is just temporary um, just to test test my switch out and then once I get all this and I get it uh, get the faceplate on figured out where I'm gonna put everything I'm going to run a blue LED with a resistor off of the uh, switch to let me know I have power on and um, another thing about this if um you know if you short circuit it is going to kill the power it's going to kill uh, it's going to turn the whole up oh, phone's going crazy security camera um, and let me get come back to the light I need to noodle everything back out um, if you do short circuit this uh, board it's going to kill the power um, the only way you're going to be able to turn it back on is to pull out the plug or uh, unplug it from the wall and then plug it back in unless you uh, put a switch in the actual um, power power cord right here which I'm not going to do I'm just you know how easy is it to unplug it and plug it back in okay so now I got the buck converter hooked up and I don't know if you can see that through the camera but it's registering 12.4 volts and we're going to test it out with a multimeter we got 12.34 volts which is pretty accurate um, for something like this but we are going to try to adjust it and the way you adjust these is you press the button in for two seconds and then you can adjust it we're gonna go 12.3 volts All right, we're going to check our voltage. 19.2 volts and 19.2 volts. All right, now we're going to check our voltage out. Twelve point three four and twelve point three. So. Okay, so let's turn this down. Let's go to 10 volts and see how accurate it is. Ten point oh nine, 10.1. That should be all right for what I'm doing. So. All right, so now all I have left is to figure out how I'm going to bolt everything together, how I'm going to run my wires. Um, I think what I'm going to do is take the 19 and a half volt and put a banana jack here, and then a 12 and a half volt put a or 12 volt put a banana jack here, and then I'm going to have them where they could jump over to the buck converter, and then I'll have an out over on this side and the ground over on this side. But uh, I'll figure it out in the next video. Um, if you like this video, give me the thumbs up. And I can use some subscribers. Y'all have a good day.